Good morning to all. On this very day, almost 75 years ago, people all over India celebrated the end of almost a century-long period of British oppression. Independence Day is not just a celebration of our freedom from dictatorship, but a day to revere and honor the freedom fighters who fought against the British dictatorship. This freedom did not just fall in our hands. Numerous freedom fighters labored tirelessly, fought against the injustice, demanded rights to freedom, and sacrificed their lives. On behalf of everyone present here today, I, Kirti Lakshminarayanan, would like to dedicate this speech to all the freedom fighters who fought the valiant war against the British. First of all, why does freedom hold such importance? Freedom is what gives humanity the right to act and speak freely, without any dictatorship. The pre-independence era of India was a dark time. People were, Indians were considered lower than British and were treated poorly. They were even deprived of their basic rights as a human. History has provided us with many examples of this. The British imposed unfair taxes on salt, and with so many people unable to afford it, they fell ill due to a lack of nutrients. The British also ruthlessly destroyed the Indian cotton industry. They took the cotton grown in India, processed it overseas, and sold it back to Indians at unfair rates. Sepoys were Indian soldiers who worked for the British Army. They were paid less than the British soldiers and were treated horribly. Their religious beliefs were not respected by the other soldiers as well. When loading a cartridge, a soldier must tear off the grease paper covering the cartridge using their teeth. Sepoys are mainly made up of Hindus and Muslims, who are not supposed to touch cows or pigs. When they found out that the British were using cow and pig grease, it was the last straw for them. They felt that their religious beliefs were not being respected, and a great violent bloody war occurred. This was called the Sepoy Mutiny, or the First War of Indian Independence. Tales of brave Indian rebels who stood against the British spread across the country like wildfire, inspiring Indians across the nation. Thus started the massive protests and historical movements, which were an inspiring journey to India's independence. People from all walks of life came together, stood with courage, and fought selflessly against the British. With that said, on this very important day, I would like to ask some important questions for all of us to ponder over. Are we all really free? Are all the people of this country really free? Do all the citizens of this country have equal rights to freedom? Certainly not. There's a huge economic disparity between people, with the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. We still hear and read of a discrimination based on religion, language, gender, caste, etc. Equality between all sections of society is still a distant dream. Was the struggle for freedom and constitution not to attain equality for everyone? I am sure that this would not have been the collective dream of independence that our forefathers envisioned for us. So, my dear friends and elders, we would request you all to give a thought to these questions and divide your actions based on that. Our independence has a lot of meaning to it. It is our freedom that ensures us able to do many things freely. I would like to conclude this speech by saying that it is our responsibility to celebrate this Independence Day with passion because it is our freedom that our forefathers earned for us after many sacrifices. But we need to remember that freedom of the country means freedom for all the people. Thank you for your time and attention today.